Good morning, staff and students. I uh, just wanted to come to you this morning um, uh, with a special report. Um, just first of all, just to celebrate the life of one of the most historical figures in the last um, century. Um, as most of you know, Nelson Mandela died yesterday at the age of 95. Now, um, a lot of you don't know um, the sacrifices that Nelson Mandela made in order for us to have a better world. So we wanted to spend some time this morning just trying to uh, capture some of the essence of what uh, Nelson Mandela was about and what his struggle was about. So with me this morning, I brought our, one of our history teachers, Mr. Brown, Mr. Greg Brown, who is going to spend some time talking about and quoting from uh, some, of, some of the beliefs from Nelson Mandela. Mr. Brown. Mr. Mandela, along with Mohandas K. Gandhi and Martin Luther King, constitute a triumvirate of freedom fighters whose influence had a profound effect on the development of events throughout the 20th and the early part of the 21st century. Mr. Mandela was imprisoned by the South African regime for 27 years. Now, to give you some idea, to put that in perspective, my birthday is in January. I'll be 50 years old. Mr. Mandela was imprisoned the year I was born. So for the first 27 years of my life, he was simply a political prisoner. As a matter of fact, the first time I saw him on television, when he was released, I was shocked because he looked so different from the pictures that we, the only picture we had been allowed to see oh, for 27 years. Mr. Mandela, Mr. Mandela's life is a testament to the, the necessity of perseverance and spirituality. And instead of giving a history lesson, I want to give you some idea of the essence of a man of the man in his own words so I have a few quotes here that he made over the years he said if I had my time over I would do the same again so would any man who dares to call himself a man real leaders must be ready to sacrifice all for the freedom of their people. A fundamental concern for others is our individual community lives would go a long way in making the world a better place we so passionately dream of. Everyone can rise above their circumstances and achieve greatness if they are dedicated to and passionate about what they do. I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers. Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. And that in, on that note, I think we should all challenge ourselves to live up to the enduring legacy that Mr. Mandela has left for us. Not just him, but Dr. King and all those who have sacrificed to make our world a better place. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. 1918 to 2013, dead at the age of 95, will, live, will leave with us a legacy of, of commitment, a, a legacy of service. Um, think, about the, think about anybody that you've ever heard that's persevered through anything. This gentleman went from prison to the presidency. This gentleman went from being persecuted in his own land to leading it to freedom. When we start thinking about the things that we have to endure 
as, as, um, as, as people on this planet, we know that we, had, we, never, we don't have to deal with 27 years of prison. We know that we don't have to be, deal with being shot at. Uh, we know that we don't have to spend, uh, before he went to prison, he spent time on the run just so he could continue his cause. He had to act as if he was someone else just to be able to exist in his own country. So uh, I think it's only fitting at this point that we do a, a moment of silence for a leader in our world, dead at the age of 95, Nelson Mandela. Moment of silence, please. Thank you. So as we go on about our day and our week and our lives, let's remember that regardless of what is placed before us, the power lies within us to persevere. Thank you and have an outstanding day.